Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, and it goes like this. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day, and not only to me, but unto all them also that love his appearing. You know, it's a wonderful thing to give uh, your all to Jesus and to, to live full out. I meant full blown out for him. That's just the kind of life that the Lord has called you and I to live. Maybe you wonder why it really matters. Well, it actually matters a great deal. Because one day we're going to stand before God to receive a heavenly reward. We see in today's verse that the Apostle Paul had a sure expectation that he was going to see Jesus Christ and that he would receive the crown of righteousness. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Now, this isn't a boastful arrogance on Paul's part. No, this is confidence that comes from having fought the good fight of faith. Yeah, and having living, living according to the Word of God. The crown of righteousness isn't just for Paul. No, it's not just for the, the special people but we all special if, if we serve the Lord the way we're supposed to. We will receive that crown of righteousness. And, you know, the Bible tells us that when we receive that crown of righteousness, that we're going to lay them at Jesus' feet because it's not our righteousness. It's His righteousness that wraps us around and, you know, one joyous day, we can lay all of our crowns at Jesus' feet. Oh, I'm looking forward to that day. Now, my question for you today, will you have a crown of righteousness to lay at Jesus' feet? I hope and pray that you do. If not, ask the Lord to become more real to you. Just fall on your knees and cry out to him. I'm talking about with the tears also. And ask him to draw you closer to him and to allow his presence to be with you continuously. Let his spirit speak to you. And in doing so, we, if we listen and obey the spirit and obey the words of God, we will receive that crown of righteousness. And we can lay it at the Lord's feet when we get to heaven. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yeah, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.